to talk about lesson eight, grammar. So first of all, let's review our verb be. Okay, so the verb to be, it has a few different forms. Okay, we're going to talk about the present tense forms of the verb be. So for example, when I am using the pronoun I, the verb be changes to am. Right? So I'd say I am. I am happy or I am hungry. I am sleeping, right? Who remembers this? We've learned this a lot, many, many times, right? Who can tell me what pronouns or subjects do we use the verb is with? He, she, or it, we use is, right? I could say zero is correct. I wouldn't say zero am correct. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Bill is eating. He is smiling. Right? Are you? Now you are. <laughs> so I can say, it is cloudy outside. Right? So when we use he, she, or it, we use the verb is. Uh, what about, what do we use with are? Which pronouns or subjects do we use with are? But I say, I are happy today. No. He, she, it. What do we have left? They, we. They, we, and what's our last one? We are. They are. And what's our last one? You are is our last one. You are. We are. They are. Right? Does everyone remember learning about all of these? So these are our forms of the verb be in the present tense. So when we're talking about right now. Okay, so we're going to use these today when we learn about our progressive verb tense. Okay, so the progressive verb tense tells about an action that is happening over a period of time. So you use this verb tense almost every day, or I think you do use it every day. We're gonna talk first about present progressive. So that tells about an action that is happening in the present. Okay, and then the way that we form this tense is we need the present tense of the verb to be plus our ing ending. Remember, we've talked about this many, many times. So the present tense of the verb to be plus ing. So let's look at some examples together. I am teaching about verbs. Who can tell me what my progressive verb tense is in this sentence? To form our progressive present tense, we need the present tense of the verb to be plus a verb ending in ing. Let's see, what tense of the verb to be do you see on this screen? Um, am. And then what about our verb plus ing? Uh, teaching. Teaching. So our present progressive verb is am teaching. Okay, so we have our form of the verb to be and our verb with the ing ending. Okay, let's look at another one. We are learning about verbs. Who thinks they can see the present progressive verb in the sentence? Remember, we need two, two parts make up this verb tense. So remember, we need a form of the verb to be, right? So that's going to be am, is, or are plus a verb ending in ing, okay? But remember, we need, it's a two-part verb. Are learning. Are learning, very good. So we are learning about verbs. Are learning is our present progressive verb. Very good. All right, let's look at another one. Tim is listening to the teacher. Who sees the present progressive verb. Let's go ahead and type it into the chat so I can make sure everyone... Okay, very... Okay, Ming Zhao, remember, this is a two-part verb, so you need two parts to this. Is what? What is Tim doing? Listening. Okay, so what is our entire verb? Is listening. Very good. Is listening is our verb. So we have is, is the form of the verb be. Listening is our verb with the ing ending. Uh, look at another one. The students are raising their hands. Go ahead and type into the chat the present progressive 
verb. Progressive verb. R raising. Okay, good job. R raising. R is our form of B, and raising is our verb with the ing ending. Okay, is this easy or difficult or medium? Okay, well, we're going to add some more stuff to it. So that's our present tense, right? The verbs that are happening, or the actions that are happening now. Progressive tells about an action that happened over a period of time in the past. Okay, so to form this, instead of having our present tense to be, what tense of to be do we think we need, Maggie? Past. Okay, so we need our past tense of the verb to be plus our verb ending in ing. So let's look at our past tense of the verb to be. Okay, so I was, right? Was is our form of be in the past tense. He, she, it was, right? He was hungry. She was crying. It was raining yesterday. Okay, so that is past tense. And when we have our plural subjects, you were, we were, they were. Plus a, uh, a verb with the ing ending. So let's look at some examples. We were learning at school. Feng Tao, are you there? The past progressive verb that you see in this sentence. Remember, we need our past tense of the verb to be plus a verb ending in ing. Okay, so that's the verb with the ing ending. And what about our past tense of the verb be? Were. Were. So what is our full verb here? We're learning. Very good. We're learning is our past progressive verb. Let's look at another one. Sam was doing her homework. So everyone go ahead and type into the chat. All right, Minnie, are you there? Yes. Okay, can you tell us the past progressive verb in the sentence? Was doing. Was doing. All right, now we're going to talk about future progressive. Okay, so we've done present, which is happening now, past, which was happening already, and future, which will be happening. Okay, so to form a future progressive, we need to, instead of the past tense of the verb to be, what tense do you think we need, Ling Chi? Very good. Okay, so we need the future tense of the verb to be. And that is easy. All you need to do is say, Pete, how might we form the future of the verb to be? Will to be. Will to be? Nope, no to, just will be. Will be. Will be. And then plus a verb with the ing ending. Okay, so this is an easy one. So let's look at an example. We will be returning to school soon. So go ahead and type into the chat, everyone. What is our future tense progressive verb? So this one is going to have three words since will be is how you form the future of be. I be. Can you help us? What is our future tense progressive verb in the sentence? Returning. Okay, so that's the verb with the ing ending, so we need that. Plus, what's the future tense of the verb be? Will be. Okay, so what is our whole future progressive verb? Will be returning. Very good. Will be returning is our future progressive verb verb. Okay, let's look at another one. I will be going to the United States in December. So go ahead and type into the chat, what is our verb here? Okay, Twitman, can you help us? What is our verb here? Our verb here is will be going. Good job. Will be going is our future progressive tense verb. Okay. All right, does anyone have any questions about this so far? All right, so let's go on to do some more practice, and then we'll do some games. Okay, so let's fill in the sentence with the correct progressive verb. Sarah blank dinner when her mom called. So here are our options here. Let's go ahead and type it into the chat. Which, what is your answer? 
All right, so look at the verb. Our other verb is called. Think, what tense is this verb in? And A, what tense is the verb called in? Uh, the verb called is uh, past tense. Past tense. Okay, so keep that in mind when you are choosing your other verbs. All right, so Kent, what verb fits in the blank here? We'll be eating. Okay, let's look at the verb called. You see the underlined verb called here? Oh, our eating. Our eating. How many Sarahs are we talking about? Only one. Only one. So can we use our? Was eating. Okay, because called is in the past tense. So we need another past tense verb. Sarah was eating when her mom called. All right, good job. Let's look at another one. The girls blank at the beach tomorrow. So can we say, so go ahead and type your answer to the chat. Can we say the girls was playing at the beach tomorrow? The girls were playing at the beach tomorrow. The girls are playing at the beach tomorrow. Or the girls will be playing at the beach tomorrow. So say, Mitzi, what is the answer here? Can you read the sentence to us? The girls will be playing at the beach tomorrow. Good job. The girls will be playing at the beach tomorrow. And Sira, what's our clue that we need will be playing? Tomorrow. The last okay. word. Tomorrow. Very good. We are talking about tomorrow. So if we we're talking about tomorrow. We know that we need a future tense verb. Okay, good job. Look at another one. I blank English right now. Go ahead and type your answer into the chat and we will discuss. All right, Lily, can you fill in the sentence for us? I am practicing English right now. Good job. Okay, I am practicing English right now. And do you know what's our clue that we need a present tense verb? Right now. Okay, we are talking about right now. Okay, good job. Okay, so let's look at this short paragraph. And there are three mistakes in this paragraph. So I want, I'm going to read it out loud. And I'm going to enable annotation when I'm finished. And I want you to circle. I'm going to put a check next to the mistakes or the errors in this paragraph. Okay. Last week. Sasha is thinking about what to pack for her trip to the beach. She decided between her, sorry, her red and blue umbrellas. Her friend gave her advice. I need to fix one thing. All right, so that is one mistake. Where do we see another one? So make sure when we are writing, we want to make sure our verbs are in the same tense. So if we have one sentence with a past progressive verb tense, then our next sentence needs to be in a past progressive verb tense. Okay, so I see someone clicked or found the second one. And we need a third one. Okay, Sira found the third one. Very good. All right, so let's look at our first mistake here. So everyone circled. Sasha is thinking about what to pack for her trip to the beach. Ming Chao, what is wrong with this verb here? I think uh, was. Okay, so we need to change that to was. All right. We also circled this verb decided. B, instead of having the verb decided, what should we have instead? It was deciding. Ping. Was deciding. Very good. Okay, and then we also circled gave so Maggie what how can we fix this one her friend was giving her advice very good okay so our new sent our new paragraph should look like this all right are we ready for a game okay we're gonna play sentence monkey for we have six minutes left so play sentence monkey and then we'll do our live quiz all right we're gonna just do everyone in a row okay so, Mid A, can you fill in the sentence for us, please? She is reading a book. Okay. Good job. All right, P, 